Hi. How's everybody today? So I'm having a good day. Oh, I slept like a log last night. I slept so good. I slept hard and long. I shut the I shut my lights out. I shut down about probably nine the latest. I, I slept till eight. <laughs> I slept like 11 hours. So I'm very well rested. And uh, I got up and I woke up and I, in my pajamas, I just hopped right into the driver's seat, went right down to the beach. And I got there and I parked and I brushed my teeth and did my whole morning routine. Then I made my coffee, my breakfast, and I set up my chair and I spent the whole, the whole morning on the beach. And then I had lunch on the beach. Uh, so <laughs> this guy walked by my, this guy walked by my van and he says, he sees the solar panels. He's like, what are you charging? Do you have an electric car? I was like, no, I'm charging a, a solar battery. Well, if you're not charging your car, what are you, what are you charging? Like, what are you using? I said, oh, well, I'm just like charging a power bank so I can have like a fridge and a, and I can cook. And he's like, you got a bed in there? You sleep in there? And I was like, yeah. He goes, so you kind of do that instead of getting a hotel? I was like, yeah. And he was like, will you marry me? <laughs> will you marry me? And then, uh, so I laughed. And then he's like, where are you from? And I said, Massachusetts. He goes, oh, you're too liberal for me. And then he was like, have a good day. And he left. <laughs> Jesus, people, huh? Oh, I thought to myself, I wanted to say, well, that's really good news because I wasn't looking for any company, you know? But that's funny. It was funny. And um, I talked to a couple of other people that are, oh, I'm, I'm in Whole Foods parking lot right now. I left the beach after lunch. I packed up and I said, let me get to Whole Foods. The leaf blowers are out in Whole Foods parking lot. Wow. Oh, he's blowing up at my car. Hello? I think I better stop this for now until they get done with this area. Okay, I think they finished leaf blowing right around my car. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm in Whole Foods parking lot and I just, uh, I went grocery shopping for the next few days. I got my fridges all nice and cool. I did my, I got new ice packs that I swapped in there this morning. I got other ones um, uh, freezing right now just because I have tons of power because of the the sun so I just thought I'd do I show you a little grocery haul the things I get and why I get them uh, mostly I think about how long things last I like to have things that like I don't like things that spoil too quickly you know so um, I love getting a, a bag of kale I love um, doing this in the pressure cooker with scallions like green onions so usually half of this bag fits because I have a small pressure cooker it's only a three quart because I'm in a teeny teeny pan so I put like half of this in with a half a bunch of scallions all diced up steam I put it on pressure I put it on zero minutes so when it gets to pressure and the time is going to start it shuts off that means it's done totally done that's how a lot of veggies are done for me so then I take those out and then I do the other half with the other bunch half of the, of the green onions and uh, if I don't get to this for a little bit, it's fine because this is this is good till February 24th. That's 10 days from now. So that's why I like to get that. And then I got some broccoli. I love my broccoli. And uh, both of these will fit in the pressure cooker together at once. One batch. Same directions. Pressure, zero, boom, done. Release, done. And then I got some arugula, and I like to get arugula because it lasts longer. I, let, I like it, first of all. But then there's always those really nice baby lettuces, the baby romaine lettuces, I love those. And um, butter lettuces, and uh, even those spring mixes. But you know, February 24th, 10 days. So that means like, this is gonna be around for a while. I don't have to sit, I don't have to like have salads twice a day to make sure I get through it before it before it um, before it spoils you know I don't like spoil I will eat something even if I don't feel like it if I want something else if I know that's gonna spoil I don't want to throw out a morsel of food 
I spend a lot of money on my food. I get organic and I like, you know, really good stuff. And I, and I, and I uh, preserve it and I consider it. Uh, it's a, it's my, this is like, this is my pharmacy. <laughs> this is my pharmacy. So I got coleslaw mix. I found organic coleslaw mix. This is great in a salad. So, you know, I put the, the arugula and this and like a diced up avocado, some of the green onion, some shredded carrots, radish, cucumber. Um, delish. Delish. Let's see what else I got. What else did I get? Oh, I got a bag of baby carrots. I always get this big, huge bag of baby carrots. And the reason is, number one, they last a long time. Used by March 4th. All right, so I don't have to worry about them spoiling. The whole bag, it's two pounds and it fits in the pressure cooker. And for me, since I eat a pound of veggies at each meal, this is two meals, you know? And um, I might not have a half a pound of these at one meal. I might mix it with some of the broccoli or something, but I just know that this is one plunk in the in the um, pressure cooker. Same thing as the other, except one minute. So it gets to pressure, it goes beep, and then it goes on one minute, and then it beeps again. Then I get the pressure out and they're done perfect. They just need a little bit more. Not much though, you know? Then I got some organic zucchinis. I got four of them. Uh, again, these don't spoil very quickly and um, they'll be good. I can, I can cut these up and do them in my little pan on the butane stove with some smoked paprika is my go-to seasoning, smoked paprika. I was talking about the paprika chicken in one of my other videos, but it's really smoked paprika. That's my favorite. I buy it by the one pound bags, organic smoked paprika. Uh, I forget the name of the company, but I order it and I just filled a couple of jars of it to take on, on my trip, but I buy it by the pound. <laughs> um, then I got, there's my sweet potatoes. There they are, Japanese. Japanese sweet potatoes. That's what they look like. And they're white inside. And these are my favorite. These last a long time. So I got four of them. And I just cook them one at a time. So <clears throat> those will go under the bed. Those don't go in the fridge. Everything I showed so far needs to go in the fridge, but that doesn't need to go in the fridge. That goes under the bed. In my little, bu in my little buckets. Let's see what else I got. Asparagus! asparagus look at how good that looks oh my god that looks so good what I'll probably do with this is I'll cut the ends off I'll probably cut it in thirds and then do it in uh, I got the oil spray what I do for the oil spray is I have one of these and it's filled with uh, sunflower seed oil any oil was any oil is fine and then I spray. I use this instead of the Pam spray, the nonstick spray. And this works just as good. And it's lovely. It's lovely. And I will spray that and then put this in, maybe with some smoked paprika. I don't ever seem to get tired of that. And uh, let's see what else I got. Ooh, I got an acorn squash, organic acorn squash. And what I like about these is this can sit under the bed in the bucket for the longest time. It, it's like, and, and if I'm low on veg, I always say like, oh, what kind of, that's what happened with the butternut squash. I was getting a little low and I was like, let me get that butternut squash out from under the bed. I bought it like two weeks ago and it just preserves well. What else did I get? Um, I got this. Kabocha? Kabocha squash? Does anybody know what this is? It was with the squashes. It's organic. Kabocha. K-A-B-O-C-H-A. Never heard of it, but I'm going to eat it. I'm going to, it's going to, it's definitely a pressure cooker item. I will cut it probably in quarters. I'm assuming there's seeds in it. I'll scoop the seeds out and then I'll just pressure cook it until it's soft. 
I'll, I won't do the al dente, but like I did with the butternut yesterday. So anyway, I think that's I think that's my haul. That's my haul. I got all the veg. Oh, I got organic roasted red pepper hummus. Um, I don't buy many things with an ingredients list. Very, 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 very rarely. But if I do, I make sure that three things. I make sure that um, it's organic. I also make sure that I know what every item is. Like I picked up a couple of different organic ones and it was talking about these gums and this, this flavorings and stuff. I don't want that. So this one is the Whole Foods brand and I, I could, I know what each item is and I just make sure one of them is not sugar even if it's all natural organic sugar. Don't want a speck of it. I don't want a speck of sugar. It doesn't serve me. It doesn't serve me. So that's my haul. And I have it all right here on the bed. <laughs> this is who I want to marry. I want to marry this. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I got a little pink. I got a little pink yesterday. I'm Italian. The very first time I'm kind of exposed to the sun, I get a little pink. It doesn't even hurt, not even a little bit. And then in two days, I will be brown as a berry. And I will be, I get so brown, so brown. But usually before I go brown, I go a little teeny pink. And um, anyway, so I'm going to get out of here, this parking lot here, Whole Foods parking lot. On my way, I saw a thrift store, um, Marie's, no, Main Street Thrift. Thrift. Why did I say Marie? Marie Maine. Marie's Thrift. And I thought I'd poke in there for a little bit. And um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So right now I'm in this parking lot. I'm going to put everything in my fridge and I'm going to hit the road and I'm going to end up back on the beach where I belong today. Uh, today was my is my friend's birthday and I was supposed to be going to her part of the state. Uh, today I was doing a little road trip, just a couple hours. To her house for her for her birthday uh one of my van life girlfriends but she's not feeling well today which is unfortunate because it's her birthday and it's valentine's day and uh um yeah so uh perhaps tomorrow if she's feeling better or the next day then i'll go so gotta kind of roll with the punches but i'll just stay on the beach it's a beautiful beautiful beach day and bye for now again um, oh it's so beautiful here the wind is nice nice and warm and uh, the waves are crashing it's awesome awesome sauce somebody said that once to me recently at a van life gathering she was like awesome sauce and I was like oh that's a cute word <laughs> you know who you are JJ I think JJ watches a couple of my videos she says awesome sauce <laughs> um, anyway uh, I wanted to clarify something when I showed my um, my grocery haul and how I get organic everything you know when I first started eating healthy I, I did not get all organic food because it, it was too expensive and even though I could afford it um, I didn't think I could afford it no I knew I could afford it I didn't want to spend the money on it I wasn't too I wasn't convinced that um, that it was worth the extra price. Like it, it killed me to pay almost twice as much for something and I wouldn't do it. But we all start somewhere. So I'm gonna say for years, I, um, I just started eating a lot of fruits and veggies and I thought getting organic would be the better choice, but I wasn't doing it. So we, we just, it's a process, it's a process. You don't have to do it all perfect right away. I didn't do it perfect right away. Um, and then eventually I, I started entertaining the idea of organic and I did this Google search. Check it out. It's called the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. So there's like a dozen foods that are like on the Dirty Dozen list that they say like if there's only, the, if, if everything else you buy is not organic, you find but these 12 foods like it's worth getting organic because it 
they use a lot of pesticides on these particular um, items or they retain the pesticides, uh, something about them all. So just go see what those 12 things are. And then I remember the day that I decided that those 12 things I was gonna buy organic going forward. The others were fine. Uh, and then there's the Clean 15, the list of the Clean 15. Google that too. And there are 15 foods that, um, you know, the organic is just marginally cleaner, if not, if at all, uh, because maybe they're, they're a crop that uh, really don't attract a lot of um, insects, so they don't need to use a lot of um, pesticides. Also, they may be like a really thick, thick skin that's not penetratable, pe penetratable by the by the pesticides. So those clean 15, yeah, you know, I mean, if, if they come in organic, I'm, I'm at the point now that I just get organic if they have it. Um, will I ever buy anything that's not organic? Yep, yeah, once in a while. Like if I go and look at the um, asparagus and the organic is looking a little, a little limp and maybe a little brownish and then the conventional is greener, and I really, really want asparagus. I'll get it. You know, um, it's not a hard, fast rule, but it's it's uh, it's something that I I I want to choose. I ch typically choose. So check out those lists: the Dirty Dozen and the and the Clean Fifteen. And um, like I think avocados is on the Clean Fifteen. I don't think I I don't think I buy uh, organic avocado. I don't think it's necessary. Um, and uh, I can't remember. I can't remember exactly. But uh, but yeah, check out those lists, um, and that might be helpful. And maybe even if you pick like two things on the dirty dozen that you say these two things: apples and tomatoes. I'm never going to buy conventional apples again or conventional tomatoes again. I'm going to buy organic. Those two things. Always, always, always. And then just commit to that. And then maybe like a month later, throw one more thing on the list. Like you don't have to be. You know. You, you know, we're, we're not giving out stickers here. You know, we're not getting stars on our foreheads. You're just working toward, working toward something, you know, just taking better care of yourself. Then you can just feel great. You know, you just feel better. Not only do you feel better physically um, because you're eating so clean and healthy, but you, you even feel better mentally because you just feel like, taking really good care of yourself you know it's just it feels good when you're honoring yourself you know so no matter how far down the road you need to go to restore health if you're if you're unhealthy and you need to restore health just get on the road today get on the road and start you know put the GPS on and go in that direction you know and um, you know if you take a little a little detour off your clean eating food plan just your GPS will tell you recalculating recalculating <laughs> and then you can find your way back you know and then you'll um, you'll see that doing it is much more gratifying than not doing it and that's just my spiel on the subject having um, been in this process for uh, probably the last decade and I know what it feels like to feel like shit every day I know what it feels like to be 110 pounds heavier than I am now. I was very overweight and very unhealthy. Um, God spared me any diseases. Like I didn't have any issues, like health issues that I was battling, but it was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. And uh, so, so that's not what my motivation. My motivation, it was really interesting because my motivation to get on this road was less about health and more about the vanity. Like I wanted to wear the cute jeans and be thin and just like every other diet I went on, you know? And um, it's just interesting what happened this time. Just like, you know, I still like the cute jeans, you know, but stretchy pants are more comfy. <laughs> and, uh, um, and, it seems like uh, feeling good, feeling good is is the biggest gift. It just, it feels good to feel good. Let me just say that again. It feels so good to feel so good, you know? And um, 
you know, I'll continue to inspire the best way I can. Just like, you know, just hop on the train, hop on the train with me, you know, and come this way and, uh, and, and, uh, and tell me about it. Tell me all about it in the comments. People already are. They're telling me in the comments how they, you know, they noticed, you know, when they were at a party, how, you know, they were looking at the food and the socializing, trying to separate them. And, you know, I love that. I love that somebody brought that thought with them. And, and uh, even if they still ate the cake, at least you brought the thought. It all starts with awareness, you know? So just be aware and just watch yourself. I always say I watch my life like a movie. I don't know, I don't know the plot. I don't know the ending. I don't know anything. I just know that my life is like a movie and I'm gonna watch it. And, um, and um, you know, everything happens in divine time anyway and I just wait for it to show up, you know? And, and for me, I just got kind of hit over the head with a two by four, by my God. <laughs> And uh, I just heard it loud and clear that it was time. It was time to stop hurting myself and start, start to love myself. So, so that's what I got for right this moment by my new friends. So I got to tell you something. There's this truck. There's this truck that drives by here. <gasps> and they come at 11 o'clock every day. This is what I heard. 11 o'clock every day this guy comes. He's in a blue truck. And he's got a sunroof in his uh, in his truck, and he's got this big, huge dog with big floppy ears that sticks his head out and his two two front paws up out of the out of the sunroof, and he wears goggles like Snoopy. And today he had a cowboy hat on. Oh, and he this guy this is this is how people serve people. This guy comes here at eleven o'clock every day. Like people can count on him. And he has the dog up there and all the kids are running up happy. People are going to take videos. They want to, oh, let me see a video. And, and he's just bringing a ray of sunshine to everybody. How cool is that? So I got a really quick video clip and uh, I have a picture of the last time I was here. I have a picture of that dog sticking his head out with the glasses on. Uh, I'm gonna post that right after this little clip. I'm gonna put that picture and I'm gonna put the little video clip I took this morning of him with the glasses and the and the cowboy hat. Oh, that dog, God bless that dog. <laughs> he just, in two seconds, the guy will say, get up there and he's up, he's up and he's looking around and his ears are flopping in the wind. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute. It's so cute. Check it out. Sitting here in the van, enjoying one more sunset. It's a beautiful evening. I just had a gorgeous dinner, gorgeous dinner. Delish, delish. And the sunset will be in about 20 minutes, half hour. And then I'll go head to my spot and hunker down and just, and just be, just be simple, simple, Simple pleasures. Bye for now.